So what is up y'all? This is Alex from Alex PC Tech back at you with another video. And on this video, we are really excited my friends because we are going to unbox one of the... <laughs> Just check it out. RX 6800 XT. So this RX 800 that we have here is the LC edition from ASUS. Now there is the ROG Strix edition that has the triple fan, but this one ASUS has done something special to this graphic card. And that is, it is by default water cooled. Okay, so RX 6800 XT with default water cooling, this really is something new. Although I know that other brands like Gigabyte have been manufacturing graphics cards with the inclusion of the GPU block, this one is something different and in fact, I guess this is the first time that ASUS is doing a built-in water cooling with their graphics card. So when I say built-in, the cooling is really built-in as an AIO on the graphics card. See, how crazy is that? Mind blown, right? So now let's unbox this graphic card and see what or how it looks like. I'm really excited on how it looks like. So right off the start. Okay, so we had is some stickers or what are these? Yeah, some decals from the graphics card. And of course, the Asus, I guess these are drivers or this will be the manuals, I guess. And for the grand finale. Whoa. This is so big. This, this graphics card is so big and so heavy, okay? Like, I think it's even heavier than... It's because of the AIO. It's, oh, oh, let's be careful with that. See that one? So this is the AIO. So it has an included 240 millimeter AIO radiator and it has two fans included along with the radiator. Now let's look at the card and see how it looks. <laughs> I'm really excited. Oh, oh my god, it's really heavy. So it's really heavy. Let's see how it looks. Yeah. Oh. See that? So as you can see here from our first look, it has the blower style cooling, but it also has this radiator that has AIO radiator that has two fans with it. So I'm really curious what this blower style is for. Oh, okay, I get it now. It has an active onboard cooling, a separate air active on air cooling and aside from that i really don't know what is the design or what is beyond this shroud right here but according to asus this has a full coverage of the cold plate a massive copper cold plate covers both the gpu die and the memory so there there's that the full coverage of the cold plate i'm guessing that the aio and the radiator will be cooling the copper cold plate Okay, because this active onboard cooling will be cooling the VRMs and the MOSFETs. Okay, so how cool is this? You have two types of cooling with one card. This is really a game changer and I haven't seen any cards that have dual cooling with them. So for this one, it has a cooling for the VRMs with this blower style cooling. And for the GPU die and the memory die, we have the AIO to cool that off. Now, why ASUS has done this, I have no idea, but I'm really excited how this performs and how it stands up against the competition with other 6800 XTs as this is really not something that you can really avail from other manufacturers. Looking at the back plate now, so as for the back plate, it's, it's amazing, right? 6800 XT. So this is the back plate. As you can see, there's the ASUS logo there. There's these patterns and designs that you will immediately see that this is a ROG Strix card because of the diagonal lines. 
at the front, I'm guessing that this is a RGB illuminated ROG ROG logo, okay? And for the front of the card, we have this amazing design, the diagonal lines that is overlapping the logo and the ROG Strix pattern that you can see here. So aside from that, these are RGB fans, the ones that are included in the radiator. And knowing ASUS, ASUS cards are actually really good at overclocking in my opinion. I have easily overclocked lower end ASUS cards, uh, what I have here. What I have on my personal rig is actually a 1660Ti that I am really trying to overclock and put to it to the test. The minimum power supply is at 750, but I advise, of course, if you are going to buy this video card, then you will be overclocking. So probably step up your uh, power supply to a one step or two steps higher so that you can accommodate for the power spike that this card may do to your system. So other features that we can also expect from this one is that it is AMD FreeSync ready and it has the support for ray tracing. So let's see how the ray tracing evolves around AMD. I know that it is really, this is their first foray into launching cards that are capable of ray tracing. But upon seeing this card right now, I guess this is really for the overclockers and enthusiasts as you will be considering this for its robust cooling solution to help you attain that maximum boost clock. Speaking of specifications, here are some specs of the ASUS ROG Strix LC RX 6800 XT. So for the display, we have one HDMI 2.1, two DisplayPort 1.4a, and one USB Type-C VR compatible port. So aside from that, other features that we can expect from this Radeon RX 6800 XT is of course the support for ray tracing and FreeSync, AMD FreeSync. This is AMD FreeSync compatible. Other features are the DisplayPort, which is 1.4 with DSC, HDMI 2.1 VBR. AMD Fidelity FX and Smart Access Memory. Now, let's talk about ray tracing. I know that this is AMD's first foray into supporting ray tracing with these cards, but there are really a number of games right now that really benefit from ray tracing. This card is really for those AAA titles that take advantage of ray tracing. I play Battlefield 5, so I'm really excited how ray tracing evolves around AMD's Navi cards. So that would be it for this first look and unboxing of the Radeon RX 6800 XT from Asus. This is the LC version. Please do like if you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't subscribed yet. We are really excited to see how this perform under tedious very tedious uh, circumstances as this has two cooling. I don't know how that will be balanced. So GPU cooling, VRM cooling for air. So that's really exciting because it's really a great time and an exciting time to be a PC gamer and a PC enthusiast like myself. Hit like if you like this video and please do subscribe to our YouTube channel for more updates or more videos and see you on the next video.